perpetually miffed Ajit Anjum, still cursing Prime Minister Narendra Modi for losing his cushy, air-conditioned journalism job in Noida, is a vagabond these days. Thumping his chest for a few YouTube views, Ajit is now a full-time YouTuber whose content revolves around finding individuals who can badmouth the current BJP regime. That's it. That is the business model of the propaganda peddler that Ajit Anjum has fully metamorphosed into. However, even that is not paying dividends now as the state of UP appears to be in full yogi mode, voting in masse for the monk CM. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush and if you haven't subscribed to TFI English yet, hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to receive all the recent updates. Coming back to the story, I will tell you about Ajit Anjum's daily life struggles in pursuit of a BJP hater. YouTuber Ajit Anjum, infamous for his neutral and objective style of reporting, has been on a perpetual prowl throughout the election season in Uttar Pradesh. He tours the state, its villages and towns, all in his disheveled state and tries to find one exception to make his case stronger for an imaginary anti-yogi wave. However, most of the time, this cold approaching backfires for Anjum as he either ends up being schooled or red-faced for his partisan questions. While it's his day job to find anti-BJP voices, it appears that Ajit is now trying to influence voters and their psyche by conducting last-minute campaigning for his political masters. The content creator stood outside the polling centres during the fifth phase polling and harassed the voters, going in as well as coming out after casting their votes to give their assessment. Questions like, who did you vote for? Who will bring development? Yogi ji, Akhilesh ji, Behan ji, who are you voting for? He seemed to influence the voters who had yet to cast their votes. However, contrary to Ajit's agenda, most of the voters claimed that they were voting for BJP, Yogi, Modi and the developmental work carried out by them. One of the voters said, BJP is right in front of us. It isn't hidden from anyone that BJP is the party for development. Moreover, after running into countless BJP voters, Ajit tried to turn the questions by asking the caste of women voters. After the woman replied that she was from a caste that made tokeries or baskets, Ajit asked whether they were Dalit or not. However, the woman voter did not know what Dalit meant and thus Ajit's attempt to throw controversy once again died a swift death. This is not the first time that Ajit has had to grub his enthusiasm and tone down the agenda. During one of the earlier phases of the election, Ajit approached a woman channeling his inner Ravish Kumar and asked what her jati was. However, the said woman, aware of Ajit's twisted propaganda, replied with a straight face, I am a Hindu. Ajit stood frozen and could not muster a response. He stood still for what seemed like an eternity before walking away meekly, trying to change the topic. Another round of embarrassment came Ajit's way when he showed his proper casteist tendencies. In one of the videos that went viral on the realms of social media, Anjum uttered some casteist slurs while conversing with locals in Siwalkhas, Mirat. Ajit's statements did not sit well with the self-described Ambedkarite Suraj Bodh, who objected to Anjum's casteist slurs and asked him not to use them under the pretext of proverbs. Facing the flag from all directions, Ajit took to Twitter to offer an apology and played the same card that racists used to play when abusing blacks. I have black friends, I can't be a racist. Anjum tweeted, I am sorry Suraj Bodh, I wanted to speak about Chori Chakari but I do not know how it was said. I sincerely apologize. I hope you will forgive me. I am neither like this nor think so. I am also among the few journalists who may have gone among Dalits many times in the last six months. Earlier in September 2021, during the COVID times, he had challenged UPCM Yogi Adityanath that he would salute him 10 times if Uttar Pradesh manages to administer 9 crore doses in 3 months from July 1st. He had said, under the mega vaccination drive, 10 lakh people will get vaccinated every day. According to that, there is a plan to vaccinate 10 lakh people, that is 3 crore in a month and 9 crore in 3 months. If the state achieves this target, I will salute CM 10 times. However, the UP government under Yogi Dityanath completed the target of vaccinating 10 crores with 5 days to spare. 
the netizens had then trolled him, demanding to keep his promise of 10 salamis to the CM. Conveniently, Ajit never addressed the achievement. Recently, a post went viral in Ajit's name that said that he will start selling pakodas if CM Yogi came to power once again. However, still nursing the wounds of the salami fiasco, Ajit cleared the air and remarked that the post was photoshopped. He tweeted, the new photoshop of propaganda about me. Anything written in my name is going viral. This shows how furious the community of bugs is on me. My Twitter handle is not verified, but the game is on by photoshopping the blue tick. These are fake people. The election to the 403-seat state assembly is approaching the penalty weight stage. The results will be announced on March 10th. However, after spending months in Yogi's state, Mr. Ajit Anjum will already be knowing the result, given he can count the number of anti-BJP voices he met on his fingers.